welcome minister as he comes to the platform tonight. Glory to God. Man, y'all give y'all pastors a hand, man. I love y'all pastors. Now give the Lord Jesus a shout. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Y'all can be seated. Hallelujah. Anybody love Jesus in here tonight? Anybody love Jesus? I love Jesus. I love the Lord. I love the Word of God. I love the Holy Spirit. Man, I'm so thankful for our redemption. Man, I just, I just thank God. Anybody been having a great, what's this, day number four? How many of y'all been here every night? You've been here like, okay, wow. You, you filled up? You full? There's more? There's more? There's more? Never runs out? You can never get enough? You can't OD on this. This is the good stuff. You should try, but you can't. Uh, I just want to thank y'all for having me, pastors. Man, y'all are a blessing to us. It's an awesome. Pastor Mark and Pastor Trina Hankins, um, that's our spiritual parents, me and my wife. And um, it's just an awesome honor to travel with them sometimes and to be able to help in what the Lord is doing. And we also minister independently, and we're also just plant, we're planning a church in Philadelphia. I'll talk about that later on. But we're just excited about the gospel. The word of faith, man, This the word of God. I mean, anybody life been changed in this place by the gospel of Jesus Christ? If you saved in here, your hands should be way up, right? So I want to pray, and then I'm going to get in. I got a lot of stuff I want to do tonight. I'm like, God, where are we going to go at? Like, it's, you know, being Holy Spirit led. It's not like some, some pre-ordered thing that I get, some template, you know what I mean? It's like, I got what you want to do tonight, Holy Ghost. All right, he give you a little bit, and we just float. So we're going to flow tonight. And um, ministry for me is prophetic in nature and in office primarily. So that means that I believe that the Holy Spirit is going to be throwing out some passes tonight. Like words, stuff. For you got to grab yours. Say, that's for me, by faith. The word of God for you. I mean, living, he's doing some stuff. Some of y'all, you know, you, you dipped your toe in the water for the last three nights. But tonight you just need to splash. You just need to cannonball. Like, watch this, Margaret. And just jump in. Like, you, <laughs> it's okay. You in a safe environment, and come on, like, no restraints. Just jump, go all in. Anybody going all in tonight? I love David, man. Everything he did, he did wholeheartedly. Gave wholeheartedly, rejoiced, served wholeheartedly, no matter what other people thought. Even when King Saul, you know, was after him, man, he was, he was still serving God wholeheartedly. So, Lord God, we love you, we praise you, we exalt you tonight. We magnify you. We draw near to you tonight together corporately. And I thank you that you're drawing near to us. We make room for the Holy Spirit tonight. I plead the blood of Jesus in this place. We thank you for an open heavens. Thank you, Father God, that I will speak, teach, preach, um, orate as an oracle of the Most High God tonight. I thank you for utterance that I will just speak divine counsel from heaven tonight. We thank you that you have awesome plans and purposes for us in this world, Father God, in this era. And I thank you, Lord God, that every person has a part to play. Every person is vital. Every member, Father God, is important. And we thank you, Father God, that we will be in our place doing what we're called to do. There's work to be done. And I thank you, Father God, that we are equipped. And I see you sort of like handing out rifles tonight. <laughs> yeah, handing out ammo tonight, saying go here, go there. We thank you for favor. We thank you for the purpose, Father God. It's not by might. It's not by power, but it's by your spirit. And Holy Ghost, we just yield to you tonight. I thank you for bodies healed, people set free from any facet of the oppression of the enemy. Sin has no dominion over us. Sickness and disease has no dominion over us. Poverty and lack has no dominion over us. Fear has no dominion over us. Thank you that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. We have a spirit of faith. We believe, and therefore we speak, and we rejoice in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So first thing I want to do is just testify a little bit. Like, um, I wasn't raised in church. I did not have this opportunity that y'all have. Like, where I'm from in Clearwater, Florida. Anybody ever been to Florida? I'm a Florida boy, you know, so sometimes I'll go in and out of being grammatically correct. Like, I don't like it that much, so I just, like, <laughs> throw it to the side. But sometimes I go back into it. But I can talk when I want to talk, right? You know, I say finna, I say ain't. That's okay. 
all right. I ain't, I ain't going to change it anyway. <laughs> no, <I'm just> playing. <laughs> but I grew up in uh, Tampa Bay, Florida. And where I'm from, my dad owned a nightclub, Clearwater. My granddad owned a nightclub. My mom was a crack addict like my entire childhood. So, you know, she was in and out of rehab. Um, I played sports growing up. I played football, baseball, wide receiver, cornerback, safety, pitcher, third base, shortstop. None of my parents ever came to any of my games. So just that lifestyle. At 17, I went to jail for three strong-armed robbery charges. So that means I went, you, you ever played Monopoly? You know, you collected $200 when you pass go. I did not collect $200. Like, I went straight to jail. I did not pass, <laughs> pass go. And, but when I was in jail, like, they tried to rehabilitate me, but I wasn't saved yet. So actually, when I was in jail, I pretty much, like, learned how to do worse stuff. You know, got with friends, learned how to do, okay, I'm going to get out and I'm going to do this. So when I got out, I got worse. And I, I got with this rap group in my area, and we were called, well, I ain't going to say the name of the group. But I got with this rap group, and my name at that time was Sinister, S-Y-N-I-S-T-A. And so we were selling drugs, you know, clubbing. I was an alcoholic, drinking sun up to sun down, Hennessy on the rocks, you know, weed head, selling it. Like, that was just was the lifestyle. It was all I knew. That was my culture my environment, the music I was listening to, my heart was full of that stuff. I had no idea about this, about the word of life, about the Holy Spirit. I had no idea. I mean, of course, you know, in the corner, we had some churches that uh, even my grandma and my mom would try to plug in when she wasn't on a crack binge or whatever, but there was no life in that church. And so, you know, I heard rappers talking about selling their souls. I heard Tupac on a song talking about selling his soul. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Um, Jesus was approached by Satan during one of his temptations, and Satan came to him, and he said, Look, if you bow down and worship me, I will give you the kingdoms of this world and all the power of them, because, and the glory of them, because it's in the power of my hand to do so. Now, Jesus didn't tell him he was lying. He just said, Get behind me. I'm going to worship God, right? And say, Satan got to getting. Well, you know, I had been to church on Easter. Like, you from the hood, you at least been to church on Easter. Like, you know, like, you're holding the Easter basket with your cousin in the picture. I remember this picture. But he's not really my cousin. It's my mama friend, son. You know, so he's my play cousin. Anybody got play cousins? <laughs> yeah, right? So me and my play cousin on Easter. So I heard a little bit about Jesus, and it was enough. And I knew, like, one night I was in my home studio, and devil started to speak through my friends who were in the occult, literally. One of my friends, he was on a song with me, and he said, he was selling his soul. But again, it's just words to me, wordplay, because I'm lost. Sometimes we think everybody know they're doing wrong and they're off, but I was lost. I had no idea that I was living a lifestyle, a life away from God. I didn't know I was headed to hell, and I had no idea about the Zoe, the God kind of life that was available. So I, re I really was lost. And devil started to speak through my friends and proposition to me, saying, look, if you bow down and worship Satan, he'll give you whatever you want. And I say, man, I say, Wow. I say, I'm away from God. I hadn't been to church yet. Hadn't been to church yet, but I realized I wasn't living that way on purpose, right? So I realized I'm away from God. So we had beats and stuff playing in the background, and I started to apologize to God for the lifestyle I was living. And I would write it down on a tablet and rap it out loud and just start apologizing. And eight to ten people in my house this night, uh, they would get up one at a time and just leave. I believe it was like devils in the flesh. Like, they would get up, walk out the house. I just kept on rapping until every one of them left. Hadn't been to church yet. Didn't know about Proverbs 18, 21. Didn't know that, you know, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all. I had no idea. I just knew that I, I needed to say something. So as I, I started to repent, and after everyone left, I had a sawed-off shotgun that I used to sleep with up under my mattress. I got it, and I was going to go to the Clearwater Causeway and commit suicide because I didn't know what to do. I just didn't want to sell my soul. And I heard a voice speak to me. I believe it was an angel, and that voice said, go to your mom's house, which would have been the last place I would have went because she wasn't really, like, on fire for Jesus, you know. But I went, and when I walked in the house, I sat on the couch, you know, and I had that gun and the pillow from the couch on my lap, and the barrel was sticking out. And she saw it. She said, what you doing with that gun in my house? And I told her what was going on. She said, boy, you better pray. And she went in the room and got the big family Bible. You know which one I'm talking about? You need, like, it's like you bringing the Ark of the Covenant back. Like, 
and it, it was like real big, and like inside of it is obituaries and social security cards, lost money checks from 1806, like all that. She went and got that Bible, and the, the big, I call it the big holy string, because this, this Bible had like laminated paper and all kind of stuff, and you know the big red string, it was open to the 23rd Psalm. All I saw is the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Went in the room at my mom's house, got on my knees, and wholeheartedly asked Jesus to save me and receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Immediately, I was completely delivered from drug addiction. Like, I had pockets full of weed and stuff I was selling and smoking. I went and flushed it down the toilet. I told my mama I got saved. I said, Mama, I'm saved. She said, that's good. Come drink with me. I was like, okay. So I went to go try to drink a beer. It was nasty. I poured it down the sink. Man, and then uh, and the next day, this I'm talking about. The difference between night and day, dark and light was so apparent to me. The next day, I cut my lease with my roommate, who was one of the biggest dope dealers in the neighborhood. And so people started saying, like, where I'm from, like, it was just foreign for somebody to be set on fire for God. And so I told them I was on fire for Jesus. I'm going to start living for Jesus. And they said the drugs messed his mind up. One of my friends came to me. He said, they said, give you six months and you'll be back on the street. And that was in July 1999. Hallelujah. And, uh, yeah, praise God. So what I did, yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I went and got a legal job. Man, I started tithing. I think I saw Brother Creflo Dollar teach on the tithe or something on the Christian network. I said, I'm going to do that. I believe the word of God. I Man, I started <laughs> plugging in, and, and I got plugged into a great church. And for eight months, I went and sat down. And um, eight months later, I was, gonna, I was actually going to quit music. I was like, I'm done with this. This other devil, Bobby Boucher, that foosball. You know, like, what? <laughs> that rap music got a devil. <laughs> but the Lord started to show me, like, Jesus started to reveal himself to me. And anytime that he reveals himself to you, he's going to reveal you to you in him, right? And he started to show me the call of God, the purpose, the plan. And he said to me, you know, in my heart, the Holy Spirit. I got filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And, man, he started to reveal the plan and the call. He said, no, you don't stop rapping. You just go for me. And you change that, that S into an M. And I changed that S into an M, and I've been going ever since. And I started going around my neighborhood, knocking on doors, you know, leading my friends to the Lord, getting them filled with the Holy Spirit. Some of them in ministry to this day, I knocked on the door, like right on the, we had never seen any of this. And man, God has been so good. You know, so praise God. So tonight, that's where now I'm ministering from this place in Christ. You know, we've been positioned, installed, like I like to say. We're seated with Jesus at the right hand of the Father. And that's where I'm ministering from tonight as a new man in Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shout about it. Give him a shout. So if you're, so you know, and the thing is, your story might not be like my story. Maybe you've never done drugs. You know, maybe you mow your yard every day and kiss your wife or your husband, and like you know, you've man, you give quarters to the those in need or whatever it is. Like we all need Jesus, no matter where you're from. Like we all came into this thing, you know, the same way in sin, right? Born in sin, but praise God. Revelation 12:11, they overcame him, the accuser of the brethren. By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, which is, I was dead in sin, but now I'm alive in Christ. Everything that Jesus has done for us in his death, burial, and resurrection, and they love not their lives unto the death. We need Jesus. And if you're saved in this place, you have this salvation, man, we go from glory to glory, strength to strength. Faith to faith, the path of the just gets brighter and brighter. Our best days ahead, great things are happening, great things are taking place, and you should be excited about it. So these last three days, last three days, that's what we've been, some of y'all just been watching other people rejoice. Like, look at him go. Who saw me run? Like, look at him, he fast. No, it ain't about being fast. I'm rejoicing, number one, because my name is written in heaven, in the Lamb's book of life. Man, you should be getting happy about that. God has a plan. Woo, I'm not what I was. I'm not confined to what mama or daddy and them did. You know what I mean? When I was born, my dad, he was married, but not to my mom. So, like, but now I've been refathered. New genetics, new DNA, and God, I have an inheritance. You know, when my mom passed away, I 
She didn't have insurance, and I paid for the funeral and all that stuff. Praise God. I was able to, and you know, but you know what? I have a rich inheritance. Man, my father has left me some stuff. He left us some stuff. I'm not a victim. What I just told y'all is not some victim story. I'm not crying or pouting about that. I've been born again <laughs> into a new family. Woo! So this is what we're going to do. I want you to turn to somebody. Just look at them real quick. Look at them. Turn to your neighbor and say, never mind. <laughs> now point to yourself. <laughs> this is who you would need to talk to tonight. <laughs> say, hey, soul, bless the Lord. Talk to you. We call it jacking up. Like if I was fighting, I, you know, I got kicked out of my high school for fighting and stuff. So I used to fight a lot, you know, and, and we used to like jack people up by like throw them against the wall and that kind of stuff. And be like, what you going to do? You know, sometimes we need to jack ourselves up. A lot of times we want to go, well, you know, we want to sh blame shift and think that someone else is the problem when we really need to, you know, put your fist up, wind up. And first giant, you need to. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> you need to deal with self. And actually, David, you know, he was the prototype giant slayer, right? And look what he says in Psalms 103, starting at verse 1. He says, bless the Lord, O my soul. He's talking to himself. He's saying, praise the Lord, self, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all thine iniquity. So he's making a list. He's like, you know what? Maybe things aren't going how I want them to go right now, but I'm not going to stay down here. So you know what, soul? Let's, let's deal with self. Bless the Lord. You know what? I'm forgiven. He's given himself reasons to praise the Lord. He forgives all thy, he forgave all my sins. The blood of Jesus has, what well, can wash away my? Nothing but the of Man, he said, bless the Lord, forget not these benefits. I'm forgiven. He forgives all my iniquities, all. There's not one, I like how Wigglesworth said that, there's not one thing in me that the blood of Jesus does not cleanse. So that stuff I just told y'all I did, that man is dead. This man didn't do it. You know, and even if we miss it in Christ and we come to the Lord and we confess that sin, like it's like, this man didn't do it. It's what you're talking about. I'm justified, just as if I'd never sinned. So you can get happy about that. That's a reason. I got my reasons to rejoice. He says, who heals all thy diseases, regardless of the pain or the symptoms or what's attacking your body right now. It's a done deal that you are healed with the stripes of Jesus. But sometimes you need to remind yourself because the enemy, you know, he will attack, he'll attack you. You know, the attacks are real. Like I said, nothing but the blood. It ain't like we ain't never been attacked in here because there have been attacks, you know, even physically and stuff. But you know what? We were wounded. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, so you can rejoice about it. Hallelujah. Verse 4, who redeems thy life from destruction. Man, I mean, that's so massive. The Lord redeemed my life. I used to go to with my mom to the food stamp office to go get the welfare check, all of this stuff. But, and that's just destruction. Can't nobody tell me that poverty is a good thing because I've been down in it and it was not good, you know? But you know what? God has redeemed our life from every facet of destruction. Sin has no dominion over us in any facet, and that includes even financially. So regardless of what happened with mama and them, daddy and them, that don't belong to you. That does not belong to you. That's why it's important to hook up with the Lord with tithing and giving and offering because it's a whole different way of doing things. That's what kingdom means, the king's way of doing things, right? I ain't going to teach on it. You're all right. I'm not teaching on that tonight. So he redeems my life from destruction. He crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things. Say good things. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. What does that mean, executes righteousness? That means the Lord will perform it. As I believe, he's going to execute. He's going to push the button and make sure that I receive everything that he already did for me. And I love this right here where it says in verse 5 that he satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. And like eagles and some birds, they have this gland in the, in the base of their tails. 
It's called a pari uh, it's like a parigeal gland or something like that. And what they do is they'll reach back with their beak after they've been attacked with like parasites. You know, they've been flying and the feathers all, they got like bed head, you know what I mean? <laughs> and their feathers and they really can't fly as high and aerodynamic as they would like to, or like they are designed to fly. Uh, make, you know, whatever it is. But what they'll do is go to a high place, you know, and reach back with that beak, put these oils on their beak, and start preening their feathers. And so the Lord, what he does is put his word. We get the word in our heart. Actually, we get in the word, you know, and we fill it up, and we fill our hearts up, ourselves up with the word of God, but it has to come out of our mouth. And it, as it comes out of our mouth, it, we, we're preening so that we can fly high above trials, tribulations, so that we can access the grace of God that's already been aimed at us. You know, faith accesses grace so that we could get everything that Jesus has already come and given to us. It's a done deal. The just should live by, but he loads up our mouth with good things. And one of those good things, that's why we were shouting last night. Shouting is a form of prayer. Your praise is a form of prayer. We're communicating with God. But it's not an empty communication. There's actually a transaction taking place. Man, anybody want to receive from God? That's why you can't be quiet. You can't be quiet. In Psalm 42, David says this, As the heart pants after the water brooks, so pants my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? Your situation never spoke to you? Huh? Where your God at? You saying all this stuff. You a faith, you a faith man. You a man of God. You a faith person. You a faith woman. Where your God at? Where your stuff at? He said, but my soul thirsts for thee, Lord. And I, all of our souls are thirsty for God. You know that? But sometimes we try to like, we try to satisfy that thirst with other stuff. Well, you know what? I'm feeling down and out and I'm just going to go buy me a wig for y'all that wear wigs, for you women. I'm going to go buy me some weave. <laughs> I'm going to go buy me a new suit. I'm going to go buy me a new rifle. How many, how many of y'all hunting here? And you think that's going <laughs> to you think that's gonna satisfy your thirst, but it's not. We, our souls are thirsty for God. And you know what? He has equipped us to be able to dr drink 24-7. Because out of our belly, from where? You have an ever-flowing well, river right here within you, you know. And what did Jesus say? He said, let anybody that thirst come unto me. And I think Pastor Mark said this the other night. You know, he said it in John 7, 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believes on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, out of your belly, shall flow rivers of living water. So like I was just saying about the eagle, out of his mouth, you know, out of the mouth of babes, God has ordained strength. That's why it's so important to speak the word, to praise continually. We need to pray continually. I mean, you should not be quiet. Your mouth, you should just be motorboating just 24-7. Pastor Mark just said this the other night, like just to yourself. You just, hallelujah, praise you, God. Just become a habit. Something's taking place. Something's happening. You can't be quiet. So he said, let him come unto me and drink. He that believes on me, as scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this he spake of the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, which they believe, that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. And in Ephesians 5, 18 through 20, he says, don't be drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves. <laughs> That's, that means to you, you speaking to yourself. Hey, soul, let me talk to me real quick. Hey, soul. Now, it also includes speaking to each other, like I'm speaking to you now, but speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. That's why you just can't be singing everything, come on, Caleb, or whatever the Christian. Like, just like, because all of that ain't this stuff right here. Like, you speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always, giving thanks. That's a form of prayer. Man, always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, man, so we, you know, we're three parts. We are a spirit. You know, we have a soul. We live in the body, right? So, but your soul should not have dominion over you. So when David was talking to himself and us, man, we, you know, we're recreated spirits, newborn, man, in Christ Jesus, new creatures in Christ. Man, we got to govern this thing. 
And also your body. Man, my body, I ain't going to let my body tell me what to do. You know, I just came from the gym and my body like, man, you see that Krispy Kreme sign on over there? <laughs> it's like going into a smart house and you come in and the smart house be like, hey, Pastor Josh, go sit down on the couch. Hey, Pastor Josh, turn on the lights. No, a smart house, you talk to it. Right? Fan, come on. Like, turn the fan on high. Like, that fan not talking to you, you talking to the fan. So the same thing, God has given us the authority to govern ourselves. Out of our mouths, even our bodies, our souls, our thoughts, man, transformation can take place as we speak the word of God to ourselves. Even as you're rejoicing tonight, this is why I'm giving you this, because I want you to deal with yourself tonight. Like rejoice on purpose. Say, you know what? Maybe I ain't been feeling it, but it does not matter. Maybe I've been just sitting on my hands for the last three days, but you know what? Hey, soul, bless the Lord. Because I believe that he's taking care of me in grand style. I believe that I will see a manifestation of his goodness here in the land of the living. I believe that I'm favored. No, yeah, I know this person over here did me wrong and this person over here did me wrong. But you know what? I'm going to pray for them just like I pray for my friends. I'm not worried about it because my expectation is not on them, but my expectation is only upon God. Hey, soul. Say it. Say, hey, soul. Say it again. Hey, soul. Bless the Lord. Philemon, you know, he says in um, 4 through 6, I thank my God making mention of thee always in my prayers, hearing of thy love and thy faith which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus and toward all saints, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. So it's important. I just want to go over that real quick. It's important for us to acknowledge who we are in Christ Jesus. Even as you're rejoicing and we, we're going to get it in tonight, like do it. I want you to picture yourself in Christ. Deal with yourself tonight. You say, you know what? I know it's, it may have been rough the last two weeks or the last four days. Uh, some of y'all have been leaving these services rejoicing here, and you go back home, and you're like, man, like, where God at? Where God at? Man, why am I heavy today? I was rejoicing last night, but what, what's going on? Why do I feel this way? You know what you need to do? Hey, soul. Hey, soul. I want to go back real quick to Psalm 42. I just thought about this when I was saying that. In verse 4, and I'm, I'm, we're going to get into some music after this. Um, David said, when I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise with the, multi with the multitude that kept holy day. I went to the Holy Ghost meeting. I was in the Holy Ghost meeting last night. Man, but my day was just terrible today. He said, you know what, but so, so, but, so we're not going to stay down there. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why are you quiet in me? Hope thou in God. Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. So he's saying, look, you know what? Hope in God because I'm going to praise him now because I believe that his help is on the way. I'm going to praise him. Not, I'm not going to praise him when the help shows up. I'm going to praise him because I know the help. Uh, my help is on the way. I know God got me. So tonight I'm going to praise the Lord. Hey, soul, hope in God. Oh, my God, my soul is cast down. Sometimes you just got to shake yourself up out of it. I tell my, if I ever feel it coming on me, I'd be like, depression ain't from the heaviness. You ain't getting here. I know how to get up out of it. Ha, ha, ha. We've been, y'all been learning. Y'all been having tutorials all week. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. You've been watching these, like, you know how you can go on YouTube and watch a tutorial? You ladies, y'all be putting on mascara and all that stuff, watching the makeups, makeup tutorials, you know. Well, you've been getting some rejoicing tutorials. But now it's time to do it. All in. Because you can watch it all day, but if you don't apply it, you're going to look just like you was looking before you start watching the tutorial. <laughs> your situation will not change. The ball is in your hands, your court. It's your time to do something. You know, even in Psalm 23, I was looking at this today. You know, we know it. Verse 1, 2, and 3, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. But he ain't going to make you eat. He leads you to the green pastures, but it's going to be your job to eat, right? He leads me beside the still waters, but he ain't going to yank your mouth open and be like, drink. He said, you open your mouth wide and I'll fill it. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Man, one of the ways that soul restoration takes place is by speaking God's word about you to yourself and others. 
You know, it's not automatic. I think some people think it's automatic. The Lord restores my soul, and they're walking around just like soul looking like hoarders. <laughs> you ever saw that? You ever saw hoarders? Where they walking on like piles of stuff, and like you can still be saying the Lord restores my soul, but if you're not getting in the word, man, nothing is going to happen. So, you know, the world says self-help. We say self-hope in God. The world says self-help, you know, their philosophy. I don't believe in that, but I do believe in self-hope in God. So I tell myself, hey, self, hope in God. All right. Anybody in here need to stir themselves up tonight? Anybody need to shake themselves tonight? Anybody need to jack themselves up tonight? Anybody? Stand to your feet. Let's start. Let's get it in. Somebody can move this. Say, hey, soul, bless the Lord. Now, it's one thing to say it. But, you know, we're talking about David here. Man, David, when he was bringing the glory back, I think some artists had a song called, like, bringing sexy back. We ain't doing that. We're bringing glory back. <laughs> we we bringing glory back. Man, and, and this looks like something. I mean, there's some rejoicing going on. Some, some, it's a demonstration because, you know, like Pastor Mark said, he said, you know, we've been with them all week. You know, your celebration is a demonstration of your expectation. Is your expectation on God or is it on man? I know they disappointed you. I've been disappointed before by some good people. I mean, some good God-fearing, God-loving people will disappoint you, but your eyes should not be on them. I done been let down by princes, yeah, more than just a few. <clears throat> but you ain't never let me down, though. You stood with me through the storm. You made sure that I was fed, yeah, my path always been fat with corn. You had mercy when I missed it, gave me grace to accelerate. So may my fingers never write again if it ain't you I celebrate. You set me down at your table, decorated so ornate. You put your life on my plate, called me son, and made sure that I ate. I'm getting teary while I write this. It's your presence that I crave. There's one thing I desire I'm going to pursue till I hit the grave. My past behind me, my future before. You're present now. Ain't got to wait. I'm tasting your goodness. I experience heaven now. I love you, Lord. Love talking to you and fellowshipping. Love your correction when I'm tripping. Yeah, your mercy seat still dripping. I love you, Lord. I want the whole world to know your name. I'm ready to preach the gospel. I'm truly unashamed. Glory to God. Glory. All right. Let me get some help up here. Let me get some help. Um, What's that dude's name? I got a text. And this is Clint. What Clint? It's a dude named Clint in here. Wait, he not here? Well, you come up here. Why you wave? You hiding? Let me get some of these little ki- little kids to come help me. Come on, y'all come up here. Look, they got their hands up. Come help me. <clears throat> some of you older people that did you receive that that microwave message? That's a whole teaching, but I microwaved it. Did you receive that? How many of y'all received what I was just talking about? Hey, soul. Let me see your hand. All right, three of y'all. How many? Let me see. Was it say delicious? Say, say, say it was good, young man. All right, now I want some people to come up here that's going to act on it. Up here, you don't have to come up here, but at least come out of your seat a little bit. Like, come up. Come up. Let's, let's go in. Look, half of you. Okay. One of y'all moving. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. Okay, two. All right. All right, how about y'all over here? Y'all going to join us? Praise the Lord. Say, hey, soul. This is what I was talking about. You have to deal with yourself. He said, well, I don't know how to, I don't have no rhythm. I'm white. You know, that was somebody said to me the other, you know, I'm white. I'm not asking you to have rhythm. I'm asking you to rejoice tonight. The Lord not asking you to have rhythm. You can be flimsy and, fra- uh, you know what I'm saying, just flailing all over the place. Just rejoice. It ain't got to be pretty. You know, it ain't got to be on beat. Just don't be by me. Get me off beat. But it ain't got to be on beat. <laughs> just don't let me see it. Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm giving you a, come on, get out your seat. Come on, let's, let's do this together. Let's lead these, look at these kids. Do we just want to lead them with word or we want to lead them by example? How many, we want to see them rejoicing? Y'all want to see them rejoicing or twerking? You ever know what a twerking is? No, we don't want to see them twerk. We want to see them rejoice, right? Let's be real. Huh? But you know, we, one of the main ways we teach is by example. They need to see us rejoicing. My kids, they see, they see mama and dad are rejoicing. Matter of fact, we'll get in a circle in our house. We believe in God, and it may be times difficult in some area or whatever. We say, let's rejoice. 
let's get together as a family. We'll grab the kids, get in the family room. We just start everything. We, we live like this for real. This ain't something up here. Like, this is for real. All right. Y'all back up a little bit. Back up for me. Back up. Back up. All right. Let me get a couple adults up here to, to come help me out then. All right. Look at this. See, this go. Come on, man of God. Come on. Hallelujah. Brother, come on, brother. Come on, brother. Yeah, come on. Right there. Yeah. I'm going to come get you. Yeah. All right. Back up a little bit. Back up behind this carpet because I don't want to elbow you. All right. All right, so we're going to start off with my song, Blood. You know, not nothing but the blood, but blood, where we're jumping up and down and stuff. Anybody thankful for the blood of Jesus? So I'm giving you reasons to rejoice tonight. You are forgiven. In case you don't think so, you know, 1 John 1, 9 says that we confess our sins. He's faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, so you don't have to walk around with your head down, feeling guilty and condemned. You know who you need to forgive? We're talking about dealing with self tonight. Say, self, I forgive you. Forgive yourself. You are forgiven. God has forgiven you. The blood is enough. Man, you are justified. That means just as if I never sinned. God is for you. So you can, woo, practice it, woo. Now, my lawnmower, you know, we just moved, so my, I, don't have a, I don't have to cut my grass anymore right now. But the lawnmower that I had, it didn't stay crunk up in my garage. You know, walk past the garage and this and they're like, Brrr. like, so sometimes joy in the Holy Ghost, like, you might have to pull it a little bit. Ha ha, like faith. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, pull it. You know, but my lawnmower was self propelled. So what I was once pulling started to pull me. So the same thing with joy in the Holy Ghost, like, once you start pulling a little bit, ha 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 ha, I believe God got me. I'm saved. I ain't going to hell. Hallelujah. I can start shouting right there. And then that thing will start pulling you through every trial, every, every difficulty, every uh, thought that's not of the enemy. I'm talking about joy and the Holy Ghost to pull you right through. Come on, brother. You, I like the way you be rejoicing. Come up here, man. I like that. I, I like to watch him praise and worship. I, I, I said it like two nights. I, like, I like him. Man, come up here, though. I need you by me. I need, I need that. He trying to go into the, the cellar. Come on. Come on, brother. Say this. He forgave my iniquity. He set my body free. Now I'm his righteousness. And healed. My body be. What did I just read in Psalm 103? That's what that is. He forgave your iniquities. Healed all your sicknesses, your diseases. Man, rejoice. Say blood. Blood, by faith, in his blood, the blood of Jesus. You got to do it like I do it. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus cleansed me and healed me up. I'm joined with the Lord. We became one spirit. Yeah. I'm a joint heir, everything of his he agreed to share. I'm well taken care of, I cast my care. I boast in him, can't help but blare. I'm on a ride, he paid my fare. Dressed in white like I'm already there. He beat death down like David did Barry, all ready? All right, hands up. Let's go, blood. Woo. Turn up the monitors, track in the monitors for me. All right, let's go. Spin around a little bit, spin around. Y'all ready? Jump. He set my body free. Now I'm in righteousness and healed my body. Be blood, blood, blood. My faith in his blood. Both hands up. Ready? Blood, blood, blood. My faith in his blood, 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 blood. His precious liquid love. Woo! Blood, blood, blood. My faith in his blood, 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 blood. Hands up. KK, I believe what he say, say, he say I'm a saint now, nah. I am what he say, I am who I was, I no longer am now, nah. I'm in Christ, I'm a new man, old things passed away and I'm seated at the right, both hands up, both hands up, ready, new jeans, reaching, third red champion on the scene, I'm clean, redeemed, red jersey got a spot on the team, he forgave my sin and he healed my body, he gave me gifts when I came to his party, I'm saved by grace, through faith, through faith, ready, hey, free and me. Blood of Jesus set me free, free indeed. That's me. Blood of Jesus set me free. Forgave my sin and he healed my body. Hey, hey, hey. Forgave. Hands up, both hands up. Ready. 
mind. He forgave my iniquity. He set my body free. Now I'm his righteousness and healed my body. Be blood, blood, blood by faith. All right, both hands up, both hands up. Ready? Blood, blood, blood by faith. In his blood, 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 blood. His precious liquid love. Blood, blood, blood by faith. In his blood. Hands up real high, clap them. I was dead in my own blood, corruption, in my own destruction Away from God, I couldn't see him, sin was an obstruction And Genesis was an abduction, through Adam all died God sent his son in the mix Hands up, hey, took us out, took us in Now we got the same life within Take the fire, watch, we cleanse we see through a whole new lens And the same spirit that raised him Give life to the mortal frame I'm healed right now no matter what it feel like Yeah, Jesus still the same I'm free indeed, that's me Blood of Jesus set me free Free indeed, that's me Blood of Jesus set me free Forgave my sin and he healed my body Hey, hey, hey Forgave my sin and he healed my body Hands up, jump, jump He forgave my iniquity He set my body free now I'm in righteousness and healed my body. Be blood, blood, blood by faith in his blood, blood. Ready, hands up. Ready, ready, ready. Blood, blood, blood by faith in his blood, 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 blood. His precious liquid love. Blood, blood, blood by faith in his blood, blood, blood. Well, his precious liquid love. I'm trying with the Lord with the game one spirit. Yeah. I'm a joint heir, everything of his he agreed to share I'm well taken care of, I cast my care I boast in him, can't help but blare I'm on a ride, he paid my fare Dressed in white like I'm already there He beat Hands up. down like David did bear And he told me, it's like I did it Cause I'm in him, he said vibe with it Cause he did it, now I agree with it Go ahead right now, we seated with him We were there crucified with him, but we up now now Thanks to the most high And healing, it belongs to us A wave of, not just a cross, the way Free indeed, that's me Blood of Jesus set me free, free indeed, that's me, blood of Jesus set me free, forgave my sin and he healed my body, hey, 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 forgave my sin and he healed my body, hey, 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 give the Lord a shout, shout like you've been forgiven, washed clean by the blood of Jesus, that your body is healed by his stripes, oh, that your future is bright, that God is leading you into light. The path of the just gets brighter and brighter. No fear. No fear. Come here, brother. I need your help. I need your help. Shout for me while I take my jacket out. You can go ahead and um, exhort. Exhort? Yeah, tell them. Tell them what God Exhort. Tell them what God got done. Oh, man. Ring him out. Oh, man. Ring him out. Tell him something good. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. How good is our God? Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you've been so good to us. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for sending your Son for each and every person here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You're coming again. You're coming again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory. He said, you're coming again. Jesus is coming again, and we got some work to do. And you can't do it sick. You know, you can't do it broke. You can't do it heavy, discouraged, depressed. That is not the plan of God and the will of God for you. You are a saint, a child of the Most High God, royalty, a joint heir of Christ Jesus. Man, and he has freely given you everything you need to do what you called to do, so rejoice. So now we're going to laugh at the devil like it's all true. Faith laughs at impossibilities. All things are possible. You can do it, brother. Come here, come here. You can do it. Come here. Because I'm going to pray for you in a minute, so I need you up here so I can see. You can do it. You can do it. You believe that? It's one thing for God. You know, Abraham staggered not at the promise of God in unbelief. He was fully persuaded that what God had promised, he was able to perform. 
God, in Romans chapter 4, says that God, you know, told Abraham, I have made you the father of a multitude, the father of many nations. But the word also says that Abraham had to believe unto that. Like he had been made, and that word, tithemi, it means like to be laying prostrate. I mean, just like laid out. But, you know, he had to believe so he can get up and walk in it. God has made you, you know, you have a calling, you have a purpose. He has a plan for your life, but you got to believe it. First of all, you need to believe that you are who God says you are in Christ Jesus. You are a new creature. Your past has no chains, no hold on you, so you can jump. You are free. We ain't trying to get free. We not trying to get blessed. We're already blessed. We are the seed. Of, we are Abraham's. You know, we the seed of Abraham in Christ Jesus. So we, the blessing is on us. So what we're doing is rejoicing because we expect to see the manifestation of the blessing. We know God. God, you're good. You're good. We gonna. We, we know He's good. But He says, taste and see that the Lord is good. I believe we're about to eat lovely in front of our enemies, right in their presence, right. Give me some hot sauce. Just smiling. <laughs> Do you believe it? I think you should act like it then. Faith is an act. <laughs> I think you should act like it. I think you should act like it then. <laughs> I think you should act like it then. Don't wait on the music. Act like it. Act like it. I might need a, where the usher? You, you usher? I'm just saying I might need usher help right now because in the middle of the song, I might lay hands on somebody. So please watch. Um, hallelujah. All right, so let's go. Ha ha, let's go. Woo! Ha ha. Let's go. Please report to the faith ship. We're on tonight. We're launching out. Hey! hey. Y'all put your hands up like this. Up. Put your hands up. up. Y'all ready? Hey. can laugh cause the war is won The victory is yours cause you are one with the risen sun So laugh in the middle of it by faith Tell yourself I'm gonna run my race Gonna finish strong, press Recognize this, you're already blessed Abraham was strong in faith He trusted God with his case God made Sarah laugh Do the same thing by faith you can have The promise, yo Isaac Get a fresh friend, make him your sidekick Believe God, together Agree, have a hand up I'm a blessing on this earth. I'm a king, I rule, I reign. I wake up banner with a big blood stain. Everything I touch gon' work. I'm a blessing on this earth. Do you believe that? If you believe that, rejoice. Praise God, jump, jump. Praise God, jump, jump. Praise God, jump, jump. Praise God, jump, jump. Now laugh at the devil like this. I'm a citizen, I'm a resident of the kingdom of heaven. That's why they'll never see me begging. Don't wave up with both legs in. Love Jesus, do what he said then. Go forward, don't look back. Walk on water, put your feet on that. If it looks impossible, cool. With God, all things possible. All things possible to those that believe if you believe, show. Faith with that corresponding action is dead. Yeah, six feet deep. I refuse to stay in the boat if you want to go higher. Come Hands up, stay safe. Gonna work. I'm a blessing on this earth. I'm a king, I rule. You believe that? I wave a banner with a Both big blessing. Say, say. Everything I touch gonna work. I'm a blessing on this earth. I'm a king, I rule, I reign. I wave a banner with a big Praise God, John. Places I've never been, I'ma see some things. Faith is the evidence. Call those things that are not as though they were. Yeah, call it word, work, fire, word, world. Like Lego, pull it out. Woo. I'm Prego. Tear down, build up, root up, I plant. Power coming out of me, I'm a power plant. Like spilling out of me, 
I'm on a living rent. Can't be lazy with the word. Go. That's my chance. I like to do that and dance. Good fight. I throw hands. Devil under me. Hands up, so. Everything I touch gon' work. I'm a blessing on this earth. I'm a king. I rule. I reign. I wave a banner with a big blood stain. Everything I touch gon' work. I'm a blessing. You a blessing. You a blessing. A blessing going. A blessing flowing. Go. Woo. Praise God. John. John. Praise God. That's what the Lord doing. He laughing at the puny plans of the enemy. He thought he had you boxed in, thought he had you in the corner, but the, he didn't know who was in that corner with you. I just see you like you're in a boxing ring and you got your water, you know the word, Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost squirting it in your mouth. Come on, champ. You can do this, champ. You got this, champ. You got this. And you coming out swinging with the word, with the word of faith, with the spirit. And I see enemies falling. They look real big. It looked real big, and you look real small compared to it. But the same spirit of faith. Woo. <laughs> Come here, brother. Come here. Oh. Kro ya retira ko ya rembetre ya pra ya krayitre arashet okita ro ya reboro froki aretish arayero ki ariete arabore fra ya krete ariatish haro yo rebor ki araraba fra ki de rakre e ya tro es tikra ya rato foko tishata ha. Oh, what is man that I should fear him? What is man that I should fear him? I'm not afraid of him, and you should not be afraid of him. I'll raise you up. Oh, and I'm raising your head up above your enemies, and you'll look to the left, and you'll see none. You look to the right, you'll see none. You look before you, you'll see none. Look behind you, you'll see none. But you'll see my goodness here in the land of the living, and you'll eat lovely in front of your enemies. So receive, rejoice, believe, woo, and enter into the goodness of the Lord. Already prepared for you. Go. Woo. <laughs> Go ahead, drink that. Just go ahead and drink. Just go ahead. Ha ha. Go to say that. Ha ha. Just laugh with the Lord. Join in. He laughing. Laugh with him. Ha ha. ha. <laughs> Restoration. <laughs> Taking place. <laughs> He's able to perform. <laughs> ha ha ha. And strong is his arm. Glory to God. Ha ha ha. Come here, brother. Ha ha ha. Well, yeah, I know you got catching this stuff, but catch this. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Lift your hands up. We thank you for your goodness, Father God. I just see a bright, just when he walks, his sunlight, just the favor of God. He's enveloped in the, in the favor of God. Uh, and being, he's been being developed in the dark room, and I just thank you for bringing him forward in Jesus' name. Bringing him forward with your glory on him. Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon you. Yeah. Thank you, Father God, that he will illuminate in the dark place, in the dark place. <laughs> And kings will come to the brightness of his rising. The goodness of, of the Lord manifested in his life and in his family and everything he touches. We thank you for your goodness known, your goodness manifest, uh, and your goodness declared, and others woo, coming to you because they will see the manifestation of your goodness in Jesus' name. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Glory, 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 glory. Come here, brother. Ha, ha. Where we at? Come on. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 That's the song of deliverance. It's a song of joy. Ha, 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 ha. That's what the Lord is singing over you. Ha, ha, ha. And it's just power. I just see it like dropping like bombs. I just see enemy try to attack on this side, but ha, ha. That ha, ha, that one over there, he, bam, hit him in his head. Ha, ha, ha. That one hit him. Bam, ha, ha, ha. Out of your belly. He has ordained strength, so go ahead. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Keep on. Uh-huh. Y'all join in too. Uh-huh. 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 Go ahead. Ha. 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 <laughs> Some of y'all are like, what you laughing at? Serious business. Serious business transactions taking place. It's stuff being deposited. You know, I say in that song, I say, I'm prego. You know, I say like Lego, man, the word, the Lord is building stuff in us through the word of God, and we're being impregnated with destiny, with the purpose and the plan of God in a meeting like this. The Holy Ghost coming upon us, man, there's dreams and visions being deposited from the Lord, you know, like Joseph. You know, Joseph had a dream from the Lord, man, that thing came to pass, and yours will come to pass. Do you believe it? Ha, ha, ha. Go ahead and laugh at the enemy. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Bro, you got to come out that sound booth back there. Come here, come here, come here. David said in Psalm 27, he said, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. And like some of y'all, you know, you really can't, you don't think you can relate to that because you're like, well, I had my parents in my life. My parents were good. Some of you didn't. But you know what? When I was looking at it one time, the Lord showed it to me like this. You know, your, your father and your mother can also represent others that come out of your, that family tree. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. And when Paul, Paul said this, he said, at my first answer, he said, no man stood with me, but I pray that the Lord lay it not to their charge because he came in and he stood with me and he strengthened me. And so even people in the body of Christ that you thought should have helped you out, you know what I mean? Like, man, they can, you know, Joseph's brothers should have been teaching him how to ride the goat and all that good stuff. <laughs> David's brothers, they, cut, they, put a, they should have been helping them out, teaching them things. But when he came in to deliver some food to the army, you know, they were like, we know the pride of your heart. What you down here for? Where you left those few sheep at? You know, but the Lord stood with them and strengthened them. And so David said, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will pick me up, take me up. And I just see it happening. I just see it tonight. Like, I like to say it like this. You're gonna, it's going to be like you're levitating, so to speak. You're really not. But the arm of the Lord is so strong, and he's holding you up. And then while everything else is crumbling around other people and they're falling, and, and you just going to be, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. Can you see it? Come here, brother. Can you see it? That's what's happening for you. That's what's happening for you. Just like Joseph. Just like Joseph, man. The Lord is holding you up, strengthening you. His arm is not short. His arm is not weak. Some been dependent on this arm of man, this arm of flesh, but that arm break and they don't levitate. But you, oh man, it's like levitation in Jesus' name. Fire. Thank you for your fire, Lord. Holy Ghost fire. Thank you, Father God, that your goodness will be seen <laughs> in the land of the living. Him and his family, Father God, the goodness of God. They will say the glory is there. The glory is there. The glory is there. <laughs> the glory is there. Every promise Every staggering not at the promise of God and unbelief, every promise fulfilled, manifesting the goodness of God, it'll be like he's dreaming in Jesus' name. Woo! <laughs> Glory. That ain't just for him, though. I'm praying for him, but man, it's corporate. It's corporate. It's corporate. And it's strong. And it's real and it's tangible. The anointing removes the burden and destroys the yoke. It's real. And if you're a business person in this place, we are just talking about this in the back. Man, there's an anointing for you to do what you're called to do for the gospel to go forward, for the gospel, for the word to expand, for the word to multiply in this city, in this region. God's hand is upon you for such a time as this. Any business people in this room? Anybody got a business in this room? Come up here. Let me, I want to pray for you real quick. Any other business people? You got any kind of business? Come up. You coming up, brother? You got a business? 
Anybody about to start a business? Come on up here. Anybody? All right. She coming up. Hallelujah. You know, but you, though there's a purpose for the prosperity. You're not just spinning your wheels and just doing what you do. No, man, there's an anointing on your life for this, for the gospel to go forward. You know, this is that charge. Da, 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 da. Man, charge those that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded. Man, the rich is coming in. God going to make sure you're taken care of in grand style so that you can take care of his gospel, his church in grand style. You believe it? So the increase is coming. God is faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. He gives seed to the sower. Yeah? He gives you bread for you and your family to enjoy, richly eat, right? Taking care of you in grand style. So keep your mind on the kingdom. Stay focused. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. His righteousness and all his other stuff will be added unto you. So we say, so in the name of Jesus right now, just receive that. Receive that. Stir up. Stir up. <laughs> Stir up. Thank you for your anointing, Father God. Anointing. Favor in the marketplace. Favor. Awesome creative ideas in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost is a genius. The Holy Ghost is a genius. We thank you for the blueprints. We thank you for the blueprints. He's giving you blueprints. We're dining with Jesus tonight. He said, I knock, you know, if any man here, woman here, and they open, I'll come in and sup with them. Oh, hallelujah, blueprints. He's, that's, he's talking about kingdom work. When Jesus come in and talk, he's coming about, he talking about what we're called to do. He's giving the blueprints and, the, and, the, and equipping with the supplies we need to build. Never lack. Woo. Glory. Glory. It's glory. Hands up, brother. Hallelujah. Glory. Go. Go with the glory. Carry the glory. Carry the glory. You're a carrier of the glory of God, the goodness of God. The goodness of God will be manifested. <laughs> Best. Don't settle. Don't settle for the dinghy stuff. I just see, like, you know, real name brand. This name brand stuff. You don't settle. Best. God's best. Don't settle for anything lesser. He, he'll supply. He supplies all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So say no to the, the, the wrong thing, and the right thing will come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Fire. Thank you for your favor. Favor. <laughs> Favored with your neighbors in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, that she's, it's, a, it's like a force field all around her. Wherever she goes, the favor of God is there. The favor is magnetic. It's attractive. Oh, she will eat. <laughs> she will eat. She will eat the best. <laughs> Hallelujah. The best in Jesus' name so that your sheep can eat the best. <laughs> we thank you, Father God. <laughs> so enter into rest. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for your anointing. Glory. The glory of God. The glory of God. The knowledge of the glory of God. That's why the glory of God will be seen so his knowledge can be known. Hallelujah. The knowledge of God so he can be known. So that Jesus could be known. Hallelujah. Supernatural growth. Expedited growth. Hallelujah. It's coming. Expedited. Expedited. Fire. Glory. <laughs> it's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal in Jesus' name. Done deal. Ha, ha, ha. Done deal. Receive. Hallelujah. Receive. Receive. Hallelujah. It's grace. There's grace for your place. There's grace. There's grace for your place. <laughs> There's grace. Supernatural grace for your place. Oh, so that people will come into the faith. Supernatural grace for your place. So that people can come into the faith. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you're sick in body in this place, we want to lay hands on you, pray for you while this anointing in here, like, you know, that's not God's plan and will for your body. His will is complete wholeness, no matter what it is. Like, we've seen cancer healed or whatever. There's nothing too big, nothing too small. I want you to come up, and we believe when hands are laid on you, you're going to receive what's already been done for you. It's a done deal. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Every organ, every blood cell, every tissue in that body has to operate perfectly. Supernaturally. Perfect. Vision restored. Hearing restored. Hallelujah. Joint movement restored. Bones, bones that were broken and fractured and fragmented, completely whole, healed. Spines that were crooked, straight. In Jesus' name, stuff is happening right now in this room. 
I was in a meeting one time, and we had a modern-day woman with the issue of blood. I was ministering like this to the sick, but the lady didn't even come up. And she said she had been having stuff in her body for, like, weeks and weeks. And when, when I was praying for the sick, it just dried up. She knew her body had dried up. So right now, even if you're sitting in your seat, receive healing from the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Top of her head to the soles of her feet, healed with the stripes of Jesus. Healed with the stripes of Jesus. Healed with the stripes of Jesus. That's the Holy Ghost. Healed with the stripes of Jesus. Healed with the stripes of Jesus. Surely he hath borne our griefs, carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten, and afflicted of God. But he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of her peace was upon him, and with his stripes she's healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Healed in Jesus' name. Healed in Jesus' name. Receive that. Hallelujah. Receive healing. There you go. Every blood cell, every organ, every tissue in Jesus' name fully functioning correctly. Hallelujah. Peace. Pain must dissipate and go in Jesus' name. No more pain. No more pain. Pain got to go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Free. He who the Son makes free is free indeed. It's a done deal. We're not trying to get it. Jesus already got it for us, so walk into freedom. Walk into freedom that was purchased for you oh, by his precious liquid love, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Top of her head to the soles of her feet. <laughs> she has work to do. Work to do. Work to do. It, where everything that she touches prosper and, and it prospers awesomely in Jesus' name. And even this hand right now in the name of Jesus, every bone, every muscle in Jesus' name, we command it to operate perfectly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pain go. Hallelujah. Ha, 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 ha. Anybody else before I do this last song? Anybody else? We're going to celebrate. Anybody else? Glory to God. Good, Pastor. Hallelujah. Red crocodile. Let's just pray. Let's not move too fast. We, we, we quit too quick. <laughs> quit too quick. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 he did it one time, he'll do it again. He did it one time, he can do it again. It's turning again. It's turning again. That situation is turning again. Uh, and he said, again, I say rejoice. <laughs> and again, I say rejoice. And the same way it turned the first time, this is the same way it's going to turn this time. Again, I say rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Again, I say shout. Again, I say shout. Glory. Glory. Woo. Woo. If y'all in that, um, what's, the, what's the, the house called? The house? New Beginnings Recovery Group. Come up here real quick. Come up. I want to pray for you. And the women's home. Come up. Come up. Hallelujah. Oh, great things ahead, brother. Great things ahead. Great things ahead. It ain't over. It's just beginning. Just beginning. Don't look back. You go forward. God able to take care of that. He able to take care of every issue, every need, even make your enemies be at peace with you. You have nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. God is here. He's here. He's with you. He got you. Great things are taking place. So what I'm going to do is just come down real fast. I'm going to lay hands on you, and we'll talk like this uh, through Dad Hagen. Say this. Say, when hands are laid on me, say, when hands are laid on me, I receive the anointing, the burden removing, yoke destroying, power of God. I am free, and I'm going forward. God is on my side. For the blood has been applied. Every need should be supplied. Nothing should be denied. So I enter into rest. I know that I am blessed. Y'all need to say that like three times. I know that I am blessed. I know that I am blessed. I have passed the test. And I have God's best. All right, it's a done deal, man. I'm talking about, I don't know, I probably, no matter what you've been through, come up out of. I've been in programs. Man, I done caught battery charges, robbery charges, 
been in a year program, four months in juvenile boot camp. That was my sentence. I didn't even say that earlier. But I was in four months of juvenile boot camp. I mean, I was an alcoholic, all kind of stuff. But, boy, when this freedom hit you, when that anointing hit you, I'm talking about stuff is about to change. And it already has, but we go from glory to glory, strength to strength, faith to faith. And you leaving this place a whole on a whole new in a whole new phase, whole new level, whole new dimension. You already a new creature. All y'all saved up here, Jesus, your Lord and your Savior. Um, how many of y'all filled with the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues? Huh? Okay, well, let me. Let, I think that that's that's very important, right? So, what's going to happen when I'm laying hands on you tonight? If you want to receive Him, the Holy Spirit, like. You, even though you're saved, like there's something else that is subsequent to your initial salvation. Like you have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit when you're saved, but then there's also the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues. And like so Acts 1.8 says when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you should receive power. That word is dunamis in the Greek, and it's where we get our word dynamite from. And man, and even the Jesus, his first disciples had to go wait in the upper room before they were commissioned into work. Because they needed the, it's like having a gun, but you need, you need some ammo in that thing. You know what I'm saying? And like, so it's the power of God. And when you're praying in the Holy Spirit, praying in tongues, it's perfect prayer. It's, it's your spirit is praying perfectly, man. The Holy Ghost giving you utterance and unction, and you're praying perfect. You want to receive the Holy Spirit tonight. Baptism of the Holy Spirit, I want to see your hands up. Anybody? Any? Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm saying, okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, when I lay hands on you, now I'm trying to see how we're going to do this. All right, so when I lay hands on those of you who just raised your hand and you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's up to you to do the speaking. The Holy Spirit is not going to speak. It's just like me speaking right now in my understanding, my natural language, like the Holy Ghost will give you utterance, like my spirit is giving me utterance now, and my mouth is, I'm talking, right? So the same thing with speaking in tongues, like you are going to do the talking. It might come out in like syllables or whatever, but it's, it's going to be you doing the talking in another language. All right. So when I lay hands on you, you can't just like sit there with your mouth. It's like me saying, say hi. And you like, like, no, you have to open up your mouth. All right. So we're going to, I want, want the rest of y'all, when I lay hands on you, just receive the anointing. We believe that great things are taking place. Amen. Can we get some music? Um, can I get somebody to play some music real quick? Some upbeat stuff. Uh, musicians, you can run up there real quick and uh, get on the keyboard, brother. You can get on the keyboard and they'll follow you. All right. Lift your hands up in the name of you. Take off your hat for me. All right, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive the anointing right now. From the top of your head, soles of your feet, we thank you for the anointing, God. Hallelujah. Bless, free in Jesus' name. He who the Son makes free is free indeed. Bless, lift up both hands, brother. Out of your belly flow rivers of living water. You will preach the word boldly, unashamed. People will look at you and be like, wow, he's a new man. And you'll tell them about everything that has taken place. Woo, your relationship with the Father. Oh, you a son of God now. Refather, a new man. Upbeat. I like it upbeat. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for your anointing. Fire. Glory in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you for your fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Free. Lift your hands up. Holy Ghost fire. Thank you for your anointing, Father God. Murder with the yoke of strong fire. Power. Glory. Free. He who the sun makes free. She who the sun makes free. It's free indeed. Now, I'm going to lay hands on you, and you up here for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Pray in tongues. Lift up your hands, brother. Hallelujah. You, you. Right, go, ahead and, go ahead and pray in tongues. Receive the Holy Ghost. There you go. Louder. Yeah, there you go. Louder. Fresh, fresh anointing in Jesus' name. Fresh anointing. See that. Hallelujah. Thank you for complete freedom, Father God. Complete freedom. Every area of his mind in Jesus' name. Thanking the thoughts of God. The word coming out of his mouth. Changing the scenery in Jesus' name. Bless, bless. Thank you for your anointing, Father God, in Jesus' name. Burn the moving yoke, destroying fire. Power. That's fire right now, brother. That's fire, brother. Don't hold back. Speak what the Lord's showing you. You'll get in the word and you'll see it. Behold, see the new man who you are. Say, that's who I am. That's what I have. That's what I can do. Oh, God's goodness. 
God's goodness to and through you. Thank you for your anointing, God. Free. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We find depression and heaviness and discouragement. Great things ahead. The goodness of God manifests. The manifest goodness of God. Never the same. Never the same. Thank you for your anointing, Father God. Hallelujah. Restoration taking place. Yeah, restoration. Restore. 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 Days of a youth. Restore. Restore. Thank you for your anointing, Father God. Go ahead and receive that. Drink that. Thank you for a new day. The new and living way. The way you've been made for a Father God and she will continuously, continuously draw near. Draw near, you're a rewarder of those who believe you, that you are. A rewarder of those that diligently seek you, and she'll see your reward. Thank you for your anointing, Lord. Peace and joy. Peace and joy. Peace and joy. God got it. You just keep seeking him, drawing near, and you'll see his hand at work. You'll see his hand at work. Thank you. Your anointing, God. Just drink that. Refresh. Refresh in Jesus' name. She's blessed already. Ain't trying to get it. Oh, but she'll know. She'll know. Thank you for revealing yourself to her, Father God, the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, the eyes of understanding, being enlightened. Glory. Uh huh. She just got saved up here. She just received Jesus as Lord and Savior. Woo! Go ahead, shout again. Tell him. Woo! Tell him again. Tell him. I got killed. Bro. Amazing grace. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. We can do one song, one last song. We good? All right. All right. Praise God. Anybody receiving from God tonight? Anybody came in here in pain and like something was hurting and you can move it now. You know it's not hurting. I want to see some hands. Like we got a hand right there. You, you received healing tonight. Look at her. She came up and received healing. All right. Praise the Lord. You don't got anybody else? Let me see. Come on. We want to see this. Yeah. You in the back, brother? All right. Anybody else? How about over here? Like move something that was hurt. Maybe you couldn't move it. Maybe you can move your shoulder or something in here like, man, we believe God. I believe that pain had to dissipate and leave in Jesus' name. You know that knee? Go ahead and go ahead and um, bend that knee. Do something you couldn't do. Wiggle that toe. Move that back. You receive healing too? Who? You receive healing back here, brother? Yeah? Praise the Lord. Yeah, hey, Glory! All right, so we're going we gonna to rain dance up out of here tonight. Rain dance. What are we talking about? The former and the latter rain? Man, even while we ain't done yet, even while I'm doing this song, we believe that some stuff is happening, taking place. So I'm going to need a couple people to help me out. Uh, get a partner. Just get a partner. Get a partner. Get you a partner. Get you a dancing partner. Get a partner. I ain't seen nobody move yet. Like... <laughs> Get up and go to the other side of the room and get a partner. Let's see how about that. 
All right. You go, hey, hey, um, have Brother Chance grab them up here. Get you some partners and bring them up here, brother. Let's get them. Bring them up here with me. Come on. Come on. Get your wife up here, huh? <laughs> your wife and, and y'all two over here. Come on up here and help me out. All right. Man, I need some help. All right. Brother, come on. You can do this. Come on. You stay up here, brother. Come on. Come on. Hey, this your partner. Come over here. Y'all come over here. All right. All right. Tell somebody. Look at them. Look them in their eye and say, you don't want to miss your chance. All right. But that, that means y'all got to get out of the seats. Y'all got to come up a little bit. Look at that. See, look at the pastors leading by example. It's about to rain. Big old fat rain. And Logan, word of life, it's finna rain. All right. Everybody rain then. Y'all come over, just come like right here. Like you ain't got to come up on the platform. Okay. All right, y'all ready to show them how we're going to do it? Y'all ready? Woo! Ha, 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 woo! Ha, 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 woo! Ha, 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 woo! Ha, 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 All right, let's go. Rain dance, brother. Let's go. Yeah! Why you way over there? I need some help. Come up here. Come up here right by me. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, well, all right, y'all can do it right there. You, you go, that's your partner. That's your partner. All right, y'all do it over there. there. Clap, clap. Let's, let's dance like we believe God. Come on. You don't want to miss your chance. You don't want to miss your chance. Everybody rain dance. Ha, 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 ha,
spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. That, I'm not, that's y'all. Old men. Young men will have visions. <laughs> and I pour out my spirit upon my, you know, servants and handmaidens. That's us. This is that. This is that. Which is prophesied by the prophet Joel. So I expect you tonight when you go home to have supernatural visitation from God. It lines up with the word of God. He'll show you stuff that's going to happen. The Holy Ghost will lead you into all truth, show you things that are going to happen. And, man, just believe the Lord. He's showing you even in here. I was in a camp, I was in a, camp a couple summers ago, and it was kids this small, this, this small right here just having open visions. And they just start talking about what they were seeing. So, like, even in an atmosphere like this, the Lord is showing us something, you know. And it, and it always lines up with the Word. I have to say that. It's not like some crazy stuff, you know. We got the Holy Ghost. Not no other kind of ghost. The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Ghost verifies the word of God. He glorifies Jesus. Amen. All right, so lift your hands up, and um, I'm going to get us to pastor after I pray. Lord God, we thank you for tonight. I thank you that it's a time of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. We know that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There's freedom from addictions in this place, habits that had us bound and we thank you that sin has no dominion over us. Thank you, Father God, that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. I was a sinner, but now I'm saved. The God on that throne, that's my dad. <laughs> we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, woo, ah, woo. I'm blessed I don't even need to. I chew. I pray in them tongues, Satan, no clue. I know my breakthrough in the queue. And we is anointed with power and dove. Holy Ghost power poured out from above. And we is not old wherever we was. That dirt has not been swept under the rug. Hallelujah. We thank you that we are free, clean, <laughs> justified, and we can expect your best in this day and age. So we thank you for the manifestation of, of your goodness here in the land of the living. We thank you that we're going forward. We're not looking back. And we thank you, Father God, that our mind, our mind, our conscience, our consciences, we are conscious of the goodness of God in us, through us, who we are in Christ. And we will have a bold confession of faith in God. Hallelujah. We will have a bold confession of faith in God, and we will not stagger. We will not waver. We will hold fast to that profession. Hallelujah. And we thank you that we will see exactly what you desire for us to see in Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. 